Hello, and welcome to Know Before You Go, a program of the Dominican Central Province of St. Albert the Great that allows us to take a look ahead at the upcoming weekend's readings. I am Father Jim Marchanda, Provincial of the Chicago Dominicans, and I am happy to be with you as we approach the final Sunday of ordinary time in our liturgical year, the 34th Sunday, the feast that the church used to call the Feast of Christ the King. Today, it is renamed Our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. Our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. You and I have witnessed a great deal about kingship and about queenship, about majesty, about royalty, as we observed the death and the pomp and circumstance surrounding the funeral of Queen Elizabeth of Great Britain. We also watched King Charles take his place in the reign of England. But our readings today give us an idea of kingship, an idea of majesty, an idea of leadership that is different than what we observe in the secular world. What we are presented with is a spiritual idea of kingship and majesty. We are given a spirituality of leadership, the leadership that Jesus Christ came to bring, the leadership that you and I are baptized into and called to be a part of. The first reading comes from the second book of Samuel and has to do with the naming of David as king of Israel. The second reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians and is a hymn of praise to the Christ, the Christ of the universe, and everything that that means. The third reading from St. Luke has to do with Jesus on the cross, the crucifixion, and the jeering that he receives from the crowds. In St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, we are given a lofty idea of what Jesus, the Christ, has meant for the world, and that in him is our salvation. And in him we participate, and in him we find our meaning and our self-definition as someone who is meant to bring reconciliation, to bring the world together. Is that what you and I are a part of? Bringing reconciliation wherever we possibly can. But going back to the idea of Jesus Christ, King of the Universe, the church gives us the first reading from the second book of Samuel, and in that talks about the anointing of David as king of Israel. And it's the elders that come from among the people and name him to be king. They say, we are part of you and you are part of us. We are from the same clan. We are all of God. And God has called you out to be a leader. And we recognize that will of God. And we who run our own peoples and run our own tribes and run our own congregations, we anoint you to be the leader of us all. And in that reading, it says, recalling the words of God, you shall shepherd my people. So in that reading, very briefly, we get an idea of what real kingship in a spiritual sense is all about. It's about shepherding. It's about a king shepherd. It's about a shepherd king. One that looks after the people with compassion and love and protection and care. Paralleling that is the Gospel of St. Luke, in which we see the kingship of Jesus, the Christ, the King of the universe. We see a kingship that is hanging on a cross. That needs to say something to us. We see a kingship in which Jesus is nailed to the cross, and the Gospel says everyone that passed by sneered at him. And that was the purpose of public executions that people would jeer at the person hanging on the cross, mock the person hanging on the cross, so that he or she would even feel worse than already for whatever their sins were. But it would also serve as a reminder to them to stay in line, 
and make sure that they don't come to the same end. So Jesus, our King, is hanging on the cross as everyone passes by. And we hear things like, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. We hear people say, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. And we even hear one of the two thieves hanging on his one side. Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. And then he is rebuked by the other thief that says we are only getting what we deserve. This man deserves nothing. And he is not like us. What we are being presented with today is a spirituality of kingship, a spirituality of leadership, a spirituality of people in charge of people that is one of humble service and even the suffering required of being a servant leader. It's an example of the suffering required of one who is a shepherd king, a servant king, no domination whatsoever in our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what you and I are invited into. Probably one of the most important messages of this is how you and I are included in the gift of salvation that this has brought about and that the crucifixion scene we witness today is about. Sister Diane Bergant, great scripture scholar from the Catholic Theological Union, has written about this gospel in the last words of the gospel, words with which the entire liturgical year is brought to completion. He opens the gates of his kingdom to a repentant sinner. Today you will be with me in paradise. That's what the kingship of Jesus Christ is all about. Today, you will be with me in paradise. My friends, I believe that that is the message you and I should hear as we celebrate the, pre the feast of Jesus Christ, King of the universe. Today, you will be with me in paradise. There is nothing that can keep you away from me. Nothing that can separate you from me. Not even you can separate you from me. Today, you will be with me in paradise. I believe those are world words that we should embrace today and should cling to. And we should let nothing deprive us of that message. Not even our own sorrows not even our own losses, not even our own sadness. Let nothing deprive us of the message. Today, you will be with me in paradise. And let us think in this month of November, all saints and all souls, let us think of all the people in our lives that we have lost to death, but have gained paradise. And as much as we are saddened by the loss, and as much as we maybe have, been, have suffered through the loss of our daughters, our sons, our parents, our brothers, our sisters, as much as we have suffered, let us place them into this gospel conclusion and hear the words of Jesus for them. Today, you will be with me in paradise. And let it hear us hear those words of ourselves as well and thank our great God and our great Jesus Christ, King of the universe. God bless you.